So, Yoha, my final question for you is, uh, we hear from immigrants or newcomers that they don't have a problem with their language, they don't have a problem with the degree. The problem they're facing is you don't have Canadian experience, which I also faced 12 years ago. And in my mind, what is this Canadian experience that everyone is talking about? I can, I can work with people. I don't have a language barrier. I'm a friendly, I'm a fast learner. Do you think that it has to do something with the recruiters or hiring manager? They are not exposed to a different culture or it is something totally different that we don't know? What's your take? Yeah, so another amazing question, Amanher. And this is something that a lot of people struggle with and get frustrated by is the fact that, you know, you come to Canada and now all of a sudden they're looking for Canadian experience and, right. and they don't value your international experience, right? right? So there's a few things I recommend over here. First and foremost, it's very important to get clear. So to get clear on the next best career path for you in Canada. Mm -hmm. So this is about, you know, clarity in terms of whether you want to continue in the same job function, mm -hmm. clarity in terms of the specific role that you want to go after and clarity in terms of the level. So maybe you were a director back home, but now you know that, you know, a, a similar role at a director level, you're not really going to, it's not really going to happen for you. Yeah. Right. So this is where you may have to take, you know, one step down yeah. in order to then come back to where you were back in your home country. You also want to be clear in terms of industry. So what industries perhaps that you worked in that you can leverage that knowledge, that experience to bring over here. Now, in Canada, certain professions are regulated where they absolutely need you to have some certifications or experience mm -hmm. in Canada, such as, you know, accounting, HR, law. But then there are certain occupations that don't necessarily need Canadian experience, even though it is, quote unquote, preferred to have. Yes. So this is how I would approach it. Number one is I would start by networking. Yeah. So once you've done your research, once you're clear on what you want, I would try to find people on platforms like LinkedIn who have also moved here recently and yeah. who have made the transition into that role, right? Like who better to talk to than someone who has done what you're looking to do, yes. right? So that definitely, I would say, is your first step. Once you've done that, then based on that conversation, find out like what is lacking on you your profile is it experience is it skills is it mm -hmm. education is it certifications yeah and then take the appropriate action right yes so if it is in fact education certifications then you need to think about ways to upskill yourself correct right mm -hmm. however if it is experience and you definitely need to have you know some sort of local canadian experience then i recommend a few different steps Step number one is you can begin by volunteering, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Volunteering is an amazing way to get experience, to meet new people, to really up your networking game yeah. and, and then use that to land your, you know, first big opportunity in Canada. Right. Now, a lot of people don't have the capacity or the finances to be volunteering for a few months. Yeah. And if that's the case, you can certainly look for paid opportunities as well. Yeah. I would say look for maybe, you know, co-op or internship or, mm -hmm. or those kind of opportunities that will let you work for a little bit of a payment, right? Mm -hmm. So so volunteering and co-ops yeah. are great ways uh, to, to, to kind of build on some re relevant local experience. Yeah. The other thing I would say is, you know, if you are very, very, very confident in your skills and your work, you can begin by doing some freelance work. Mm -hmm. So you can approach, you know, startup companies, scale up companies, small, mid-sized companies. They're always looking for people and they're always, you know, looking for people to do work, whether that is paid or unpaid, you can help them. And as soon as you do that, put that right away on your profile, on your LinkedIn yeah. and, and, you know, put that so people know that now you have, you know, not just your, your yeah. international, but also local experience. Yeah. The final thing I would say is there are also many bridging programs. So mm -hmm. for very specific professions like, you know, HR, IT finance, marketing, uh, there are bridging programs provided by, by institutions such as Access Employment, JVS, Achieve, yes. which will help 
to train you in your profession, which will help to get you that Canadian knowledge. Uh, and then at the end of the program, they also help to connect you with Canadian employers to get those specific opportunities. So look up bridging programs for your specific profession. Thank you for those great tips, uh, Johan. Thank you very much. And with that, my uh, my interview comes to an end. I really enjoyed the conversation. Very practical tips. Again, for the audience, you can watch all the videos that I posted on it on the whole week. Post, uh, comment, share, and if you have any more.